Hey everybody, Linus here with Anonymod, where we explore the fascinating and sometimes scary world of cybersecurity. Welcome back to all our returning viewers. Today, we're diving deep into the dark side of the internet, exploring the techniques hackers use to steal bank account info. Now I'm not showing you this to give you any bad ideas, but knowledge is power. And the more you know about these threats, the better you can protect yourself. Okay, so first up, let's talk about phishing attacks. Imagine you get an email that looks like it's straight from your bank. It's got the logo, the formatting, everything looks legit, right? But wait, there's a link in the email asking you to update your account information. You click on it thinking it's all good, but bam, you've just been phished. Hackers create these convincing fake websites that look exactly like your bank's login page. And the moment you enter your username and password, boom, it's gone, straight into the hands of the bad guys. So remember, always double check the sender's address, look for any typos or grammatical errors, and think twice before clicking on any links in unsolicited emails or messages. Next up we got keylogging and this one's straight out of a spy movie. Keylogging malware, once it infects your computer, runs silently in the background, recording every single keystroke you make. It's like having a creepy little gremlin sitting on your shoulder, noting down everything you type. It could be hiding in an innocent-looking email attachment, a compromised software download, or even lurking on a dodgy website. Use a good antivirus program, be cautious about the links you click and the files you download, and keep your operating system and software updated. Let's talk about man-in-the-middle attacks, or MITM for short. Imagine this, you're at a coffee shop, sipping on your latte, connected to their free Wi-Fi and doing some online banking. You think you're safe, but lurking in the shadows is a hacker, intercepting every piece of data that's being transmitted between your device and the bank's server. Public Wi-Fi networks are often unsecured, making them a breeding ground for MITM attacks. So, what can you do? If you must use public Wi-Fi, use a VPN, my friends. A VPN encrypts your internet traffic, making it much harder for hackers to intercept your data. Chapter 4 Card Skimming Watch Out at the ATM This next one hits close to home card skimming. You walk up to an ATM or use your card at a point-of-sale terminal, completely unaware that a tiny malicious device is secretly copying your card information. These skimmers are often cleverly disguised, blending in seamlessly with the card reader. This stolen information can then be used to create cloned cards, allowing criminals to drain your bank account without you even knowing. Be vigilant. Check the card reader for anything that looks out of place, wiggle it a bit to see if it's loose, and if something feels off, trust your gut and find another ATM. Chapter 5. Banking Trojans, the Silent Account Raiders. These sneaky programs disguise themselves as legitimate software, tricking you into downloading and installing them on your device. Once inside, they unleash their payload, stealing your banking credentials, credit card numbers, and other sensitive financial data. They can even record your online banking sessions, capturing every keystroke and transaction you make. To protect yourself, be cautious about suspicious emails, avoid downloading software from untrusted sources, and always keep your antivirus software up to date. Some notorious examples include Emotet and Zeus malware, which have caused billions of dollars in damages worldwide. Chapter 6. SIM. Swapping, they can steal your phone number. This next one is scary because it can be tough to protect against SIM swapping. Imagine this. You're going about your day, completely oblivious that a hacker is busy convincing your mobile phone provider to transfer your phone number to a SIM card they control. Once they have control of your phone number, they can bypass two-factor authentication, gaining access to your bank accounts, email, and other sensitive accounts. They can even intercept text messages from your bank, making it nearly impossible to detect fraudulent activity. Be extra careful about sharing personal information online, and consider adding a PIN or passphrase to your mobile phone account to make it harder for hackers to pull off a SIM swap. Chapter 7. Credential Stuffing – One Password Leak Can Ruin You Now let's talk about credential stuffing, a technique hackers use to exploit the bad habit of password reuse. Hackers use stolen login credentials from one platform to try and access accounts on other platforms. They use automated tools to test these stolen credentials on a massive scale, hoping to stumble upon a match. 
if you use the same password for your online shopping account and your bank account, and that shopping website suffers a data breach, your bank account is now vulnerable. The solution is simple. Use unique, strong passwords for every single online account. I know it's a pain, but trust me, it's a small price to pay for peace of mind. Chapter 8. How to protect yourself, stay safe online. Alright, we've covered a lot of scary stuff today but don't panic. There are plenty of things you can do to protect yourself from these online threats. First and foremost, always be cautious about the emails you open and the links you click. Verify the sender's address, hover over links to check their destination, and be wary of any unsolicited messages asking for personal information. Use strong, unique passwords for every online account. Use a password manager if you need help generating and remembering complex passwords. Enable multi-factor authentication MFA, whenever possible. This adds an extra layer of security requiring you to enter a unique code from your phone or email in addition to your password. Secure your home Wi-Fi network with a strong password and consider using a VPN, especially when connected to public Wi-Fi. Keep your operating system software and antivirus program up to date. Outro, stay safe, stay ethical, and that's a wrap. We've covered a lot of ground today from phishing attacks to SIM swapping. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to cybersecurity. By understanding the tactics hackers use, you're better equipped to protect yourself from their malicious activities. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends, family, and that one tech challenge relative who could really use this information. Let's spread awareness and make the internet a safer place for everyone. Until next time, stay safe, stay ethical, and I'll catch you in the next